Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my very first vlog and I'm going to be doing it on the Indy 500 that I just came back to. So it's Monday, Memorial Day. So first off, I just wanted to say thank you to all of our armed troops who have served and who are serving. Thank you. So like I said, I just got back from the 101st running of the Indianapolis 500 where Takuma Sato won the race actually. Thrilling race. If you watched it, you really know how amazing of a race it was. And what made this race so special in many regards is the fact that Formula One champion, two-time champion, Fernando Alonso was racing. Now, a lot of people thought that 101st wasn't going to be nearly as good as the 100th. How do you top the 100th anniversary of arguably one of the best races in the world? Well, you bring in a two-time champion in Formula One and let him do this racing. Unfortunately, just like every other race this year almost, some sort of mechanical failure went bad for him. And this time it was a Honda powered engine. That's why I'm actually driving the McLaren to do this video is because he was racing for McLaren. But luckily this one doesn't have a Honda powered engine, thankfully. So this year I was going with my great buddy, Chris Klein. Shout out to Chris and to his uh, shop, Klein Classic Cars. If you ever want anything cool and unique, they've got some really cool and unique vintage stuff. Anyway. I thought I was just going for the Indy 500. I didn't think there was much else going on that week besides that, right? Nah, I was wrong. There's tons of races going on. As soon as I got there, the next day, I got there Thursday night. The next day, we ended up going to, I believe it was Lucas Oil Speedway, where there was two uh, races going on that evening. Fun stuff. I believe one of them was the Silver Cup, or Silver Crown Racing. I forget what the other race was, but fun nevertheless and then Saturday night we went to the little 500 which is one of the coolest races I think out there and it really is a crown jewel and a hidden crown jewel at that it's a quarter mile short track right and they run about 35 of these cars on there I'll show you a fit video right now of it killer right just absolutely awesome tony stewart actually raced this year at the little 500 and actually got third place overall which was pretty neat to see but there's other races going on you just simply don't have the time to hit them all the other one going on i know of was the figure eight world championship now come on how fun would that be to see figure eight racing is one of my favorite racing i know it's a little quirky and some people might call it redneck, but I love it. So those are great events, but there's other things you can do other than going and see racing. We stopped by, which is kind of cool. We saw the original building that the Duesenberg Model J was built out of, and Duesenberg in general. And what was pretty cool is Duesenberg, I don't know if you know the story of them. Long story short, arguably one of the greatest cars of all time and were the supercar back in their day. And every one of those cars, as soon as they were done with that rolling chassis building, it went straight to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and did a couple laps on there as testing, so it's kind of cool. So we saw the building where they originally built it out of, the original factory. And then there's other places. You can go to the Speedway and see their uh, museum. Their museum's arguably one of the greatest car museums in the world. I mean, the cars that they have in there are just mind-boggling. And they had a pretty cool event in there, all for uh, AJ Foyt and his races that he's won in his race cars. So then Sunday comes, Indy 500. What a race. It was a record 15 different leaders throughout the race. I don't know how many lead changes, but 15 different leaders. Amazing. So as you know, the motorsports world really had its eye on this race, and for one driver in particular, obviously it was Fernando Alonso. And Alonso was doing great throughout the race, leading it was always in contention for the, for the win. But as you guys saw, stupid engine problems gave out again on that Honda engine, just like how it's been happening for him in F1 with stupid mechanical problems. And I believe it was with 20 laps to go, he was out of the race. And two of his other teammates during the race even had engine problems and got knocked out. Which sucks. It really sucks. Honda, you know, was supposed to be this great engine company and keeps happening it sucks but it is what it is so as you also saw that crazy wreck involving uh 
Dixon, thank God he didn't get injured. I mean, it's amazing how safe those cars are and he can just walk away from them. It really is. And Sato won the race. It was an unbelievable finish with him and Castro Neves behind him, the three-time champion who was looking for his fourth win. But a great race overall. And I think you would have to agree with me that that race, well, one, that's in the three greatest sporting events in the world, that, Mama, and the Monaco Grand Prix. But you'd have to admit, yesterday was a much better race, a much more intense entertaining race to watch compared to the Monaco Grand Prix. And I think a lot of people don't give IndyCar the credit it deserves. It is a fantastic racing series. And I truly enjoyed seeing the Indy 500. And I would encourage everyone to see that at some point or another. That is a tremendous race. And it's amazing what those cars can do and the speeds that they do. And it's just amazing. The sound, everything. Anyway, Hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, my first vlog. Hopefully it's the first of many to come. I'm going to do it, like I said, when I can. And um, subscribe for more. Thanks, guys.